Here we have a Fiat R bar 1000 Corsa to the body chassis spec of uh, 1970, the, the then Group 5 uh, European touring car rules. It's built very, very well in terms of the actual spec. It's semi pendulary but it's got the uh, double wishbone front end, anti-roll bars, rose joints. The rear end is based on Fiat 600 as the uh, earlier cars were up until 68-69. It's got the girding disc brake system on the front, three pot calipers, girding disc brakes on the rear, three pot calipers, anti-roll bars again at the rear. So quite sophisticated, uh, but albeit 1967-68 spec suspension. The transmission on these cars is basically a transaxle based on the Fiat 600 transaxle. This particular car is updated, although the gear casing is Asper R Bath, it's got uh, Baccio Romano uh, manufactured dog gears in it, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the used first gear as easily as you can use second, third, fourth and fifth. It's got a limited slip diff in it, it's got the whopping great big drive shaft. So once again, got all the right bits. The engine is the one deviation from originality on the car. And this has actually got an eight port version with a PBS, which is an American cylinder head on it. Uh, very powerful, about 1100cc's bored out. Uh, A112A2 block, uh, pocket garbage crank rods, forged pistons, all the right bits and bobs. Uh, around about 100 brake horsepower, which pushes it along very nicely, thank you. Fabricated in you know, a middle Barton garage exhaust based on the uh, TCR design. Reliable, maximum power, about 8,000 RPM. Plenty of torque, matches up with a strong clutch, light flywheel, does the business. Now, the interior of the car is pretty spartan. It's, it's got two seats because at the end of the day it's a road registered car. It's got a full blown FIA roll cage, full harness belts. It's got the correct R bath Jaeger instrumentation, proper R bath steering wheel, um, and that's about it really. People obviously will ask, what can I do with the car? Well, the answer is you can, uh, you can look at it, you can polish it, you can drive it on the road, you can sprint it, you can hill climb it, you could circuit race it. You could go to Germany and join the Copa Mila. You could uh, take it to Italy and do the silver flag. You can do all sorts of things with this. And it is absolutely true to say, you turn up somewhere with an R bath like this, you get the crowd. Absolutely staggeringly attractive vehicle that loads of people know about. They see them on the uh, videos and YouTube and all the rest of it. And when you turn up with something like this, it is absolutely a crowd stopper incredibly good value for money.